I'm Timothy Luce and I'm building an automatic backup power system for my outdoor wood stove pump and all that using a um, broken uh, UPS power supply like you would find in an office. Uh, essentially all that's wrong with it is the battery is shot um, but we replaced them with better options and we're just going to pitch these. So um, what I've done is I've already taken the back off of it the other night. You just slide that out and I've removed the battery. So what I'm going to do is wire up some ring terminals to connect to a marine battery and I'm going to hook this to a marine battery. This thing will handle a little over 200 watts or right at 200 watts on the battery side and my pump system and all the controls and everything for it are not even going to use uh, 100 watts. So we should be in good shape, and um, so let's get started. So after you've cracked it open, you'll cut the spade terminals off, unless you want to use a spade terminal. I wanted to go with something that was hard soldered back in place, so I cut those off, and then I actually had to use a torch because I couldn't find my soldering iron. So I soldered leads onto the wires that come out of the uninterruptible power supply and then I put these ring terminals on them so they'll bolt to the battery and I only had black wire I would have liked to have color coded the wires but I'm just gonna mark plus and minus on these um, so basically the only thing I have to do is plug it up to power hook it up to the battery and then I'll plug in all my pump and controllers into the power supply and when the power goes out in the winter time I've got an instant on battery backup that won't even let the thing skip a beat. In order to make a slot for the wire to um, extend out of the housing I just heated up a screwdriver with a torch and had it melt through the plastic and then the wires will fit through there and this lid will slide back on. So we now have a tidy backup power supply system from something that would have been discarded and um, I'll have an infinitely longer battery source um, in that marine deep cycle battery. So I'm going to go hook it up. So here we are in my stove building. Here's the stove, and I call it the dragon. There's some YouTube videos I've put up about how to build that stove. But anyhow, that's how we heat the house. And here is the power supply. My pump is right here. It's currently using 43 watts and it's pumping a gallon a minute. Um, and uh, I just wanted to show you what happens when I unplug it. And I also have all these controls over here. You can see those LEDs lit and this sensor and the uh, control modules there. But if I unplug this, you'll hear the um, uninterruptible power supply beep. Okay, and you'll notice the pump is still running. This hickey right here is also um, an AC transformer. Um, these all run directly off the 12 volt battery, so except for this one. So they're not actually running through the inverter or the UPS inverter setup. So in the event of a power failure in the winter, I won't melt down the dragon because the pump isn't running pump will keep running on this deep cycle battery. It's got 180 cold cranking or 180 reserve amps. It's 925 cold cranking amps and I haven't done the math yet but um, let's just say it'll last a long bloody time. I'm pulling less than 100 watts um, estimated through the system. So there you go. If you need backup power for something and you have an old uninterruptible power supply sitting around 
you can hook it up to a deep cycle battery and get more life out of it.